Right, we are done in Arras and how beautiful. It's been such a different little city to, to go around. I love all the different houses and stuff. But we are off and um, I know you shouldn't have a favourite war memorial because that just sounds wrong. But one of the most awe-inspiring, makes you catch your breath, amazing places. Like the, One of the best memorials I have ever seen is about 45 minutes away and we're stuck for somewhere to go. Um, and there's a park up nearby, so we are off to Teepval, and you'll see why. So at this memorial, if you can see above there, there are inscriptions of, it does say here, I'm going to get this right, 72,000 soldiers who no, have no known graves. Um, their names are commemorated here instead. And they have these little memorial registers that is an actual list of books, like a directory. And in the directories, you can look for the names of your loved ones if you're looking for family members or anyone in particular. And they are at the bottom of each of these big towers. So you can look through anyone you think might be here. So here, I can see we are under A to J. Jackson PT is the last on the list for this one. But yeah, it's quite stunning, really. It's a uh, yeah, 72,000 men in the Battle of the Sun. One battle. Just a very quick stop off at the Teepval Memorial. Um, it does always get me that. The idea of, of, I know it's not everybody, but the idea of 70,000 men having no known grave. And it was only when people started building the memorials after the armistice that family members had anywhere to visit or to, to see or, or anything. And really gets me. I reckon there's something. Second life. This is my second life. And I was there in my first. So we've just stopped off at the Ulster Tower, which is just down the road from uh, from Teepval. And um, we're just going to have a quick snip round. We've not been to visit this one before, so we'll just have a quick swizz round. And then we're off to park up because we've been enjoying a couple of days of no work or minimum work. So we're going to go get some stuff done because that's what you've got to do to do all the nice stuff in between, isn't it? over to John's van for a quick tea. We've got a video chat with one of our friends in a little bit, um, which we're really looking forward to because it seems like forever since we've chatted. I got a bit carried away with my food. That is very unlikely. You see, I got really carried away because I was just going to have quiche and salad and then I realised I had this like Russian type salad and that needed eating. So I gave that to John. John's got his cheese and stuff. And then John got very carried away with drinks, which he doesn't do. However, this is why we buy the tiny bottles of Heineken. Yeah. So we can get carried away with one. Yeah, just the one. Just the one. It's nice. Oh, yeah. Cheers, baby. Cheers, baby. Good morning. Oh, you can't even see my view. Look at this. Slightly overcast today, but it's nice. It is currently 16 degrees, which 
I'm fine with considering it is nearly 11 o'clock, so that's not so bad. I really need to clean that poop off my windscreen. <laughs> that's terrible. That's terrible. Let's come back inside so I can be a bit lighter for you. There we go. I had a lovely quiet night last night, apart from waking up in an absolute mad sweat. I mean, I'm used to night sweats anyway now, but um, we had one small bottle of Heineken with, uh, with our tea last night. And yeah, it, it was, I think anything now like that makes it crazy, but I had the weirdest dream. And uh, I'd, I've got, I say I've got a couple of issues and I don't know if they're menopause related or not because I keep getting palpitations so I'm cutting down on my caffeine um but I know that it's a menopause thing I also know it's an ADHD thing so I have no idea what that could be I am not stressed at all well a little bit but it's not anything that I would worry about but I had this awful dream that I was like riddled with with cancer and there were all of these signs and the doctors just kept saying, yeah, there's this and what about this and what about this? And it was weird things like earache and um, having my toe hurt all the time, which, you know, sometimes I put down to eating too much rich food. <laughs> um, and and it, it was the weirdest, scariest thing, uh, waking up on my own in a pool of sweat, which I can't afford to do. I can't be washing these blooming sheets every every day. Um, <laughs> although we have noticed that um, every netto that we've been past so far has got a revolution laundry machine outside so that's good to know so I'll be looking at one of those soon because I've got to wash everything now um, but yeah that scared the bejesus out of me so now I've got to stop myself from obsessing because you know what it's like this like, this idea is put in your head um, I am fairly sure I am fine <laughs> I can't say I'm 100% certain because I've not been fine for a long while now. Um, but yeah, yeah, it's just weird, isn't it, how a really weird dream can just affect how you think for, for the entire day. So I figured I'll uh, I'll dive in into a bit of work and get some of that done, which obviously helps with uh, keeping your mind occupied. John's up and he's working, he's editing the next, basically, Epic Adventures uh, blog for y'all. And uh, we're trying to we're trying to get our mojos back a little bit. We've been comparing videos from prior travels to now, and it did seem like we were a whole lot more excited about stuff then. I mean, I'm feeling more excited about the odd little thing, but I think back then there wasn't as much work getting in the way, so we weren't like constantly on off on off if we were doing YouTube or not, and everything was in one video, so we could just constantly record and get excited about all the things and know which channel it's going on, and your brain wasn't working quite as hard all the time. But I don't know if it's the lack of Cooper, because obviously he was in a lot of our old videos, and he just was so happy all the time, and he made you happy all the time, and like now he's not here, is it that that's affecting us? Who knows? Hard not to get melancholy with all of this going around, especially after a bad night's kip and whatnot. But yeah, anyway, onwards, onwards and upwards and on to hopefully a lovely sunshiny day and a nice bit of lunch before we go and do this thing. So over in the Swee Van, it's Swee Van. I love this sandwich toaster, as I said before, because it flips open. Otherwise, we haven't got anything that we could fit all the burgers on in one go. So, this is fine. We have John with his air fryer. We are working with cooking skills. So, I'm going to get plating up, move my stuff, and I'll get the burger buns all ready for chucking these things on once they're done. But yeah, it's good stuff. I like the sharing cooking malarkey. Yeah? Yeah. I just want to tell you about something cool I found, because... I like telling people about cool things I find. You know, I send postcards to my grandson from wherever we go. So every new town or city or anything, I'll try and find a postcard. And then if it's a different country or whatever, I'll try and find stamps. And then I'll try and find a post box and get them sent out. And a lot of the time, you know, it's you catch up and post in three at once and what have you. I'd had a bit of a Google around. I'm thinking, I'm sure there's got to be something because my dad, bless him, used to send me e-Christmas cards. So he'd send us one and it was all animated and he was like, this is instead of posting something and it was lovely and he'd still write a message and whatever. And I'm like, there's got to be something like that, but better. And then I found Simply Cards. Simply Cards, I hear you say. 
you may already use it already. Uh, not affiliated, literally just Googled it, found it on the internet, found the app for my phone, then found that for £20, I'm sure it's £20, you get 10 postcards. And for those 10 postcards, you choose the picture. You can just put one picture on. You can put text on the screen. You can make a collage of pictures if you want to and put text on the on the postcard. And on the back, you've got an address. You can create your own stamp with your face on it that goes on the postcard. And then for the writing, there's about 20 different types of cursive text that you can choose from um, to write your message on your postcard. And then you do it all. You have a bit of a check over, a bit like Moonpig, where it shows you what's going to go on and then you submit it. And it takes about six days from doing that to get in where it's going. For two quid. Two quid a card. I know with the stamp, stamps are like 70 odd P nowadays any, anyway. And the, just the convenience of being able to put your picture on. So our grandson loves it now because Nan and Pops' his face are all over it. So absolutely brilliant and it means you're not going around trying to do all of that stuff it's far more personal makes you take more pictures instead of using video all the time so yeah brilliant simply cards and it uses paypal so it's dead safe so yeah go do it uh, i think we're going to drive about an hour and 15 minutes to get down to uh, a little bit further south towards reams and uh, we're going to find a park up for the weekend so just a couple of nights or so um hopefully try and find something with cycle riding so we can get out and do something but also get up to date with lots of bits and chill out and all of those things but first food so we'll f there's an aldi six minutes away so we're just gonna go and hit up and get some supplies to make sure we don't run out for over the weekend we need to stop coming to shops i've said to john i said if we need any more food because we literally just needed a couple of things to make sure we had food for the weekend yeah, we'll, we'll probably be alright for food for like two weeks now. Um, and then I know there's going to be a point where we're going to run out of... They nearly bought something and then didn't. And no one's going to run out of it. Uh, so I'm just going to go in and get it. Because although I am terrible in shops, I'm not as bad as Mr... Mr... Has to buy everything in the whole wide world. Like everything's shiny magpie guy. So um, it's great if you want a good snack run. Definitely. But uh, yeah... Yeah, we need to uh, slow that down a little bit, I think. So we've got 100 kilometres, hour and 32 to go. I've got radio player on playing Hits Radio Manchester because it makes me feel comforted. I love it. And um, yeah, rainy drives. So while I navigate all these rainy French roads, I'm going to leave this video here. So thank you so much for coming along with me. I appreciate every view as always and hope you enjoy what's going to come up next week. You can watch it first on the Basically Epic Adventures channel when the video will be out on Sunday. So take care guys and I will catch you on my next video. Bye!